You're here nine. The FBI releasing new information tonight showing scammers are now raking in more than $12 billion nationwide from victims. And agents don't want you to fall for one. Let's go live now to Fox 31 problem solver Shell Turner with how they're targeting victims specifically here in Colorado. Shell. Yeah, that's right. I mean, who can relate to this, right? You get these weird texts from somebody just saying, hi, or how you doing? The FBI says, do not respond because that scammers trying to run their game, trying to get a little conversation started with you to get your information. So instead of the streets, these scammers are trying to get at you through the technology and Colorado's seventh in the nation when it comes to scams. They're sneaky. He had identified himself as a refund officer. And heartless. Contacting victims in every way possible. The problem solver sat down with the FBI and learned new internet crime complaint data shows, investment schemes, email fraud, and fake tech support calls topped the list of scams. These criminals stole more than $187 million from 11,475 victims in Colorado in 2023. Gotten one of those weird text messages with familiar greetings from a stranger? Beware. Hey, were you at the meeting last week? And, you know, usually we respond with, you know, wrong number, right? So the bad guys will then engage that person and continue to try to start the dialogue with them to really start that relationship building, if you will. One of their worst tactics, pretending to be your boss, knowing you're likely to do whatever you're told. And they're going to sit back and monitor your boss's email account to see who is involved in the business, what type of business it is. You know, they're going to do some social media scrubbing, figure out who are the players in the business to figure out really where or who might be in charge of sending money within the company. Tech support scams convince the victim that the dutiful worker has uncovered a serious problem. All you have to do is give them control of your computer. You've just handed over access to your passwords and bank account information. Regardless of the scam, the FBI says there's one way to protect your identity and your money. Check it out for yourself using your trusted contact information. No company is going to come and say, there's fraudulent activity in your account. We need to set up a protected bank account for you. Now wire all your funds to this place, right? That's not how business operates.